what uh, teams these players are on as we load into Glittering Ashes LE. It is going to be the uh, next, uh, whatchamacallit, of the current, uh, what's it called? We're in the top right hand corner map, starting all the way in the top right hand corner. We, of course, have our blue Terran player coming in from the land of Taiwan. He is currently behind in this series, but not by too much. And he is also going to be representing GDA team, Team Gadot. I'm, I'm going to assume that that's uh, the translation in Mandarin here. We have Eternity. And spawning in the bottom left-hand corner of Glittering Ashes LE, we have the other Taiwanese Terran player. He is red, representing himself. This madman is teamless, but he is Lemon. Currently up 2-1 to one in this series. Yeah! Actually playing Terran this time. Actually playing Terran. Um, <laughs> I think we were both quite uh, anticipating a lot coming out from Eternity. I know there's been a little bit of hype surrounding him, but Lemon has always been a solid player and yeah, he's only one win away from, from qualifying himself. Yeah, that's definitely a reason why Lemon has was directly seated to close qualifiers. Hmm. It's because he came in 4th uh, to 5th, well, 4th to 8th, rather, in EPT wins. There you go, there you go. He did He did kind of have that result earlier last year, um, and we'll see how that really culminates as we get into this TVT. Unfortunately, we didn't really get to see too much of it, so if anyone in the chat was watching the Taiwanese stream, let us know. What has been going on in this TVT? Have we been seeing some mech versus bio, or just bio tank versus bio tank? Has there been much cheese? Have, has there been much, much proxy? Um, what has been going on? Did we have BCs? Did we have Ravens? Did we, <laughs> you know, did we have proxy marines? That's the kind of, or oh, proxy reapers even. That's the kind of stuff that uh, we're a little bit unaware of right now. Exactly, exactly. So we're kind of coming coming into this blind. So far, the openers are looking relatively standard here. Um, oh, I say that, but Lemon looking to be a little bit more aggressive. Yeah, he has not halted his Reaper production. He's getting a couple of uh, Hellions out right now. Eternally stopped producing Reapers. He is playing completely on the defensive right now with Marines and a Cyclone. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, here we go, Cyclones on the way, and this is the real power, the real defensive units. Once Lemon gets across the map, it's going to be about diving on top of that Cyclone, and if he can get it down, then things can snowball from there, um, as he's getting ready to move out. Yeah, just waiting for this additional Hellion, and here we go, a little bit too late to delay the CC, mm -hmm. but still enough to disrupt some of the attention of Eternity. Yeah, exactly. Again, the real power of the defense here from Eternity is the Cyclone. Uh, the Marines don't really matter too much here, and we'll see if he can dive on top of it. He's going in! He's trying to, but he dips out immediately. He knows what his chances look like fighting that force. Yeah, exactly. Eternity, he had all of his forces here at the Natural, and he was even able to get a lock-on off and take down one of the Hellions. Oh my god, another second Hellion! Ah! Will go down and face its brother in the afterlife. There's another cycle comes up. Oh my god, the target fire! Very well done by Eternity over there. Lemon unable to get the scout that he wants to get, but yeah, he should see that. That's a double cyclone. That's uh the that's a Terran opponent who is very scared. <laughs> and I mean to be fair, his Terran opponent just completely shut down his aggression. Like literally everything every single unit got taken out except for this Reaper. So a great defense so far by Eternity. Um this will eat into his tank count because he did make two cyclones, so that is the downside to it. But we'll see if he can make up for it as he moves out across the map. Yeah, that's a lot of gas that uh Eternity has kind of invested into those cyclones that Lemon is taking advantage of. He's already finished up his Raven. He can get his second Raven much, much quicker. And as you said, Lemon, for the most part, should have the better 
should have the better tank count. Yes, yes, slightly, slightly will have a one tank advantage. Uh, will that come into play later? It definitely could, it definitely could, um, as the game is slowing down a little bit. Both players are expanding. They're both taking their third bases in their main base, looking to eventually expand and get into that mid game. Slowly but surely. TVT, that's the name of the game. <laughs> exactly. Ashabur in the chat, I hope you're happy if he finally gets his TVT. <laughs> he, he showed up just as we got into the TVT. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he can sense it. <laughs> There's a disturbance in the force. A TVT is being played out on the Cranky Duckling. Something is horribly wrong. He's like, I should go to bed. But he's like, wait a minute. My bones are tingling. A <laughs> TVT, mate. <laughs> Oh god. As it, we do see, we do seem to have um, Biotank versus Biotank here. No one is going mech. We don't see additional factories from either one of our players. Um, probably the biggest difference here is that uh, Lemon will have a much faster stim timing. Yeah, insanely faster, mate. This all comes, this all goes back to the additional gas that Eternity spent on that extra cyclone. Mm -hmm. So they're doing very similar things. But Lemon is doing it much quicker. He is looking to be the aggressor in this game. Yeah, yeah. He's already getting his third base here on location. It's already an orbital as well. Eternity still has to morph his own into an orbital. Still just a regular CC. But he has a slightly better SCB count for now, so. And trade even. Reaper finally goes down. Yeah, and Eternity's actually moving out with everything he has. He does have two Disables available on these Ravens, um, so he could maybe try and find a way in. Oh, the looking. Vikings? Oh, yeah, the Vikings as well. Yeah, I thought the Vikings might intercept the Ravens there, but uh, yeah, Lemon, just a little unaware of what was, uh, of where the, what the army position was like for Eternity. Eternity gonna be the first player to siege, but I'm liking the position of Lemon. Is able to take out all of the bio and will push on forward. Lands the Vikings as well to completely clean this up. Not a fight that without its losses though for Lemon. Yeah, remember how we were talking about how Lemon would have like a tech advantage? <laughs> that kind of came into play here. He also had a massive Viking advantage as well. Just took control of the skies, didn't waste any time sieging up and just shut down that push from Eternity. Yeah, on top of that, I believe he lost his... Yeah, he lost his, the Ravens. Mm -hmm. So Eternity has one Raven, and Lemon has zero. Yeah, one Raven was barely able to escape here, but does that even matter with the insane Viking count that Lemon has? He has seven! My god! <laughs> so many goddamn Vikings! Finally, he's making some medevacs, but... Uh, yeah, to say that Lemon has the air advantage is putting it lightly. Mm. Lemon has the complete air dominance. Mm -hmm. uh, probably a bit more apt. Yeah. <laughs> to say the least, mate. To say the least. Meanwhile, for the time being, both players do back off from each other. Eternity is working on a fourth base. So even though he did lose a lot in that attack, um, because Lemon didn't necessarily go for a counterattack, because once he probably really couldn't, um, you know, Eternity, like things are still able to stabilize a little bit. Eternity can still take a fourth. Yeah. Yeah. He's working on it, and he's not quite building it on location the way that Lemon is, but Lemon, okay, I was going to say, is trying to sneak out a bit of a drop to deal with, uh, or Eternity rather, is sending out a bit of a drop to deal with Lemon's fourth, but it does get intercepted and Eternity sights otherwise. Yeah, both players do get eyes on each other. Meanwhile, another spot of Marine here for Eternity does see the double <laughs> drop headed towards the fourth base location, so his own army does respond in kind. To add on to that, of course, we do have our, our sensor towers as well, so it's going to be really difficult to sneak around and try and harass either one of the, the third or the fourth, to be fair, for either player. Yeah, but it does come a point where you want to you want to break in through the sensor tower zones anyway. Throwing a bit of a cheeky multi grand to distract your opponent. Yeah, here we go. As we do see Eternity committing here, he does pre scan and does see two tanks already in position. Thinks better of it. We'll back off. Yep. This and now the players are building up. Yeah, this is kind of the dance we see here in TVT. They're both basically just scanning each other. If at any moment one of these two players is out oh. of position, then, you know, they're just going to go for it. Out of position, like so, but. Yeah, Lemon not uh, liking his chances here, not wanting to take an 
unnecessary risk, shall we say. Yeah, I'm pushing through a choke point is not what you want to be doing. It's uh, <laughs> He rotates around instead, and now he's looking to be the aggressor. He's looking to try and maybe find a way towards that base. Just waiting barely outside of sensor tower range, but he does get scouted anyway. And so he backs off. No full commitments yet. Yeah. And as all this is happening, we're just chilling. Ooh, the one big difference, the biggest divergence, is that Lemon is going for double starport. Or yeah, triple, I guess. Yeah, hey, triple overall, but he just produced two more. And yeah, the name of the game right now for Lemon is he wants to continue to maintain his air dominance, but more importantly, utilize that air dominance side. He could go either way at this point. He could go for range lips, or he could go for PCs, but... Regardless, he's going to have to make use of the fact that he's got a ton of Vikings. Yeah, like, especially because if you look now, we haven't seen any Vikings reduced from Eternity at all. He's still stuck on two. Like, going into Liberators earlier on would have been great here for Lemon. He still hasn't committed to anything yet, as he does <gasps> commit to those Tech Labs. Oh my god, he's going for the Ravens. Alright, not against that. Not yeah. opposed to that, uh... I know you were thinking uh, BC. Was like, yeah, I was like, I was BC you were getting excited, man. I, I could feel it. I could feel it. Ah. I think Raven's definitely a very, very important late game unit for Terran. Two medevacs full of Marines get taken out immediately here of Lemon. This is still kind of fine for him. He does want to free up some supply to get his Ravens out. We didn't really get to mention it, but yeah, our players are maxed out and. Yeah, with corporate reactors, that's going to be a lot of auto turrets. There's going to be plenty of disables as well uh, yeah. available here for Lemon. It's all about how much energy is he going to have for the big engagement because Eternity, he's pushing out across the map. And as you just, or as we all saw, Lemon just dropped a little bit in supply. He's rebuilding it, but again, it's not ready yet. And he is completely out of position. He just abandons the base. Yeah, he's going to have to. Beautiful anti-armor missile on top of every single one of these Vikings. Eternity can't really push into this position, but neither can Lemon. It's a little bit of a stalemate. Yeah, but you know what, Eternity? It looks like he's going to be able to get not just one, but maybe even two CCs. This planetary is under threat. There's a lot of Vikings. There's also not really much for them to do. Again, I really would have loved Libs. Libs would have been amazing. They would have been a game changer, mate. They really would have. Lemon losing a couple of spaces now. Sending out Marines to try to do a bit of counter harass. Oh yeah, and we'll see what they can what they can get done. They're gonna catch a couple of reinforcements potentially here, but they do get spotted. Like so, but you know this is a massive blob of marines. It is still difficult to deal with them with, uh, with the units that Eternity has back at home. Nice catch on the tank, and he does pull back a lot of units here. Eternity completely backing off, at least when it comes to his marine count. Mate, these tanks are so exposed. Like, Lemon, let's go! <laughs> he's got Throwing Vikings. Turrets, mate. Yeah, he's got options. He can throw down auto turrets. He can land his Vikings as well. Um, he could just try, just try and rush them. Uh, <laughs> God, but for the time being, Lemon doesn't really take notice of it. In Eternity, he's going to be able to get away. Like so. Wow. Is that species still burning in the south? It is. It's gonna go down. Ah, it's gonna go down. Three, two, one. Unfortunate here. Oof. Eternity kind of running away with this. There were a couple of moments where he was vulnerable, just like this. The tanks are on siege. Ah. The current siege. Everything should get anti armor missile. Disables left and right. As the anti armor missile only gets a single, uh, only gets a single tank, and yeah, that's an unfortunate timing of the disable as well. Yeah. Just before the tank is taken out. God, exactly. Meanwhile, the tanks are still continuing to be disabled. The mass marine here from Eternity can't really do much at all as the tanks are already seized here on the low ground and he's going to have to just turn around. So horrible to, uh, to an anti armor missile. Yeah. They're so badly overstimmed, too. Only two medevacs in the air right now for Eternity. Meanwhile, these two tanks just, uh, <laughs> they just killed kill the CC. Yeah. yeah. Not a cancel. Uh. And then. Ravens of Eternity do get taken out before much really happens. Mate. Lemon, he's catching so much here. Another Raven goes down. Does get an anti-armor missile. Actually, he lands on some of his SCVs as well. He's just chasing chasing down the Ravens. Yeah, like so. There are plenty of auto turrets uh, available for uh, Lemon. Eternity is going to bypass all of these tanks with a massive blob of Marines. And without any tanks to deal with them, uh, you know, Marines are uh, probably the scariest unit that Lemon can face. 
Yeah, exactly. Lemon, he evacuates. The army is incredibly overstinned, but we do have reinforcements here back at home at the natural. At the same time, mate, we're going for a pseudo base trade. Um, I feel like eternity, these Marines can't really make too much progress, though. Yeah, look at that air dominance that Lemon has, and yeah. that Lemon is leveraging as well. I do appreciate that he was being a bit conservative with his NG earlier on, but I definitely think that now is the time to throw down a lot of turrets. Yeah, here we go. All the turrets are being thrown down. All these tanks are going to go down as well. Lemon, he's looking to break through and get into that production. Meanwhile, Eternity turns around with his Marines. Yeah, was it quite, he was able to get a base, which is very, very nice, but he wasn't quite able to crack into Lemon. Both players there. Incomes are being shot a little bit. Oh, I love this with the Vikings late. Lemon just camping the... Camping the uh, Ravens. The oh. says. The Ravens get taken out before they can really do much of anything. Two techs get disabled, and Eternity coming in from a bit of an angle, and this is a beautiful surround on top of every single one of these tanks. But is it too little, too late? Uh, we'll find out. Like again, Lemon does have a massive supply lead, um, but a lot of that is still in Vikings. You know, uh, <laughs> he has been able to basically reset the medevac count every single time. But he rotates around. He's looking to try and take the space. Oh my God! Three techs oh, waiting for him. He was not expecting there to be a base there, much less tanks in that position. Mm. And Eternity has plenty of momentum. He's keeping on going. Wow. Do appreciate that Lemon has sieged up his tanks here just in case. And uh, yeah, we got a very nice little bit of back and forth here. Exactly. Just like that, Eternity, he closes the gap in terms of supply. He got these two bases up and running as well. Lemon struggling a little bit more here as he's just... Um, by the way, those two tanks are still here. <laughs> not for much longer, but they were here for quite some time. Finally, they get, they get taken out, and this allows Lemon to open up this base location once again. I do worry for him. He doesn't have sense to tell out the same way that Eternity does. True, they were all taken out earlier. He is looking to rebuild those sense tower here on the front line, continue continuing his Raven production as well. Uh, what even are libs, mate? Uh, <laughs> you don't need him. I was waiting for this for a while, but... Uh, I'm glad that Lemon has realized I have a lot of Vikings. I may as well get smart Zogos. Just in case I need to land all of them. Oh! Oof. Almost pushes through that choke point, almost into the siege line of all of those tanks. Both armies just posturing here for the time being, and. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, I, I'm still not too certain if I like Eternity committing so much to these Ravens when he just has no Vikings to support them. Like, I don't know. I feel like every single fight, like, the Raven counter gets reset. Look, where we're going, we don't need no Vikings. Marines provide enough of a enough support for the Ravens. Do they? We'll find speaking out. Of which, speaking of which, the Ravens do come in and they catch Lemon completely off guard. So many techs are disabled, and there's a very good anti-armor missile as well. But here comes the revengeing of Lemon. He's coming in with his air dominance, but there's still a couple of Marines over here which are actually really threatening right now to all of these Vikings. Everything hey. is blowing up. Oh, it's all said and done. I still slightly prefer Lemon's position. Slightly, mate. Where we're going, we don't need no Ravens. We need Vikings. This is what we need. He just dominates the air. Just like that, Eternity, he couldn't really get any more closer here as there was still a line of tanks behind this. Eternity going to try and find another avenue of attack, and he will. Unfortunately, Lemon just wasn't where he needed to be, and he may just find a fresh base. Yeah, it is a planetary, though. And, ooh, nice catch on the migrating... SCVs. Ravens. Ravens get taken out <laughs> once again because this time there's not even enough of a buffer of Marines to really zone yeah. out the, to really zone out the Vikings. Twenty Marines is not going to be enough, man. You need more than that. I, I, I. <laughs> now he's going into Vikings, but it's too late for that. Well, we'll see because there is always potential for him to, uh, you know, buy himself enough time and get uh, and overtake the Viking count. Oof. I say that as uh, these Vikings are actually killing Marines. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Meanwhile, another bunch of Marines do get taken out here as well. At least he's den denying a lot of mining here. There's no mining whatsoever here at the Fresh Planetary. But we'll see how much more he can keep this up because banks are being spent light. Banks are definitely being spent, but Lemon, who has traded more efficiently oh. throughout this game, I still think he's pulling out ahead. Yeah, I think so as well. He's trying to find and get another way in. Like that's the other. That's the thing that we should say about Eternity is that he does have the superior bio upgrade. So because of that, um, Lemon is having a really hard time closing the distance. Like sure, he kills the Ravens every time, and just like that, he finds another Raven. Oh my god! Uh, two Ravens, mate. Oof. He takes out the auto turret just before it can really get much damage done. 
Yeah, I, 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 three ravens at that. And now, now Eternity, he's the one who has to respect the army of Lemon. He has to back off. He has to make sure he keeps up. Otherwise, again, he could be losing a base. Yeah, this voice scans is so crucial. Don't see a bunch of orbitals being morphed in, even though they're not mining. Yeah. Meanwhile, another wave of medivacs get taken out. The Marines are trying to catch up with the Vikings. Oh, more ravens get sniped! Beautiful maneuver here by Lemon. And he's right outside the front door of... Uh, Eternity. He's trying to make it so that Eternity can never push out, but there is a little bit of an angle of escape. I'm gonna say it one last time. On Imagine if we had libs, you know? Just <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Here we go. And regardless, the Vikings are still just getting so much damage done. The tanks slowly leapfrogging forward, getting even more of room here. And if he gets even closer, he, get, he will get on top of those starports. He's trying to. He's definitely trying to. He's debating right now whether he wants to siege up over here or in a, you know, a fresher base of eternity. But he has decided to pull the trigger. He's trying to bait the army once again into tank range. Eternity not taking the bait. And he himself is wondering, okay, maybe I want to push across the map right now. I can't push into this angle. But there's still a shot. There he is. CC gets taken down. And it looks like... He makes a choice. Looks like he's not going towards those starports and headed over towards the fresh bases instead. Okay, well, may as well, I suppose. But uh, yeah, he's at a little bit of. We're at a little bit of an impasse because um. Everyone on sieges. Everyone on sieges. Busy. Yep. Oh. Everything is on siege. Oh, he's going in. He's going in. Siege up. He's going in. There is a little bit of a buffer of text here, and of course, at any point. Uh, Lemon made a side to land the Vikings. The wow. Ravens tried to get something done, but the disables are much better for Lemon. The ma Marines are able to overwhelm everything, and it looks like the straw has broken the camel's back now. The Lemon has killed Eternity. GG is called, and Lemon will be the final player advancing to the DreamHack Mensa's Valencia Taiwan Hong Kong regional event. <laughs>
regardless. So very, very impressive plays from all of our players. I don't think a single series really disappointed. We saw some, uh, a lot of our players excel here, um, even in some losses. People looking good. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Nazan versus Rex, you know? Mm -hmm. Definitely. And no. with that, that is going to be it for the Taiwan Hong Kong qualifiers for now, as uh, you know, these players will be playing again in roughly two weeks from now. But it is not the end of the closed qualifiers, mate. Less than 12 hours from now, about eight hours from now, we will be having the closed qualifiers for DreamHack <laughs> NA. <laughs> We are, yeah. we are. I, I didn't realize how soon it was. Uh, yep. <laughs> yes, we are done for today, technically, as it is still not midnight here in the land of Australia. Mm -hmm. But as Yaku said, in eight hours, we will return. Um, I may be casting with Kuro there, still undecided. I should be. Um, and we will be covering the North American Close Qualifiers quickly. Having looked, I actually haven't looked at the bracket yet. Um, I'm not too certain what's Ooh, awaiting let's us. Look. Let's take yeah. a look, see. Let's see, ESL. Uh, that's, uh, which one? No, not that one. Ooh. Here we go, Close Qualifiers. Yeah, we have a lot of series going on here. Again, there's many more. Double, actually, the qualifying spots for mm. North America. Um, eight. eight in total, man. Jesus. <laughs> it's a lot of spots. A lot of spots. Um, like a leopard. Like a le <laughs> and I'm not too certain what I want to go for. Oh, we don't have a duckling here. Vindictor's waiting the next round. I'm tempted to follow Paddy Mac because he is our boy. You know, yeah. he, he may have flown over to another roost, uh, another pond, but of course he is Look, still one of ours. <laughs> all birds gotta leave the nest. Mm -hmm. At some point. It's true, but they're still ours. They're still <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I may go for Paddy Mac. Uh, if you're following Paddy Mac on social media, he did tweet uh, a couple of days ago that he's really worried because he doesn't have his main PC. Uh, he's playing on like uh, a different kind of uh, computer at the moment that doesn't have amazing frame rate so he's not feeling too confident about yeah, making that, it to the main that, event does that mean he's gonna can rush every game it's possible before before they, before they get to the late game before his pc blows up <laughs> it's very possible it's very possible uh there are a lot of really good series there but i do think i'm probably gonna go for paddy mac versus binsky first because that does go into dolan or antis um Ooh. so yeah dolan the duck antis one of the best American Zerg players. Or not if not, enough, yeah, if not the best American Zerg player, actually. Um, F's in the chat for Silky. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. So, yeah, a lot of matches are going to be awaiting us, and we will be there in eight hours. Ready and waiting. Well, I'll be there in eight hours. Yaku's yeah. going to be in bed, mate. Aha! <laughs> uh, Rip Skyler. F's in the chat for Skyler, man. Shaking my head. Shaking my head. <laughs> oh, God. But, um, yeah, with that, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Again, this was only the beginning of the closed qualifiers. There's going to be closed qualifiers for every single region. We started with Taiwan, Hong Kong, and the rest will follow suit. And we will do our best to provide you coverage for every single one. We will do our best not to die at the end of it. Yes, no promises, though. No promises. Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta die, you know? A little bit. A little bit. Not a not little, a little bit, you a know, little a little bit. bit. Yeah, yeah. Then the Red Bull kicks in, then you can keep going, you know? It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. But yes, we thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed yourselves with the Taiwan Hong Kong region. Um, Yaku, Yaku, where can people find Who are you, Yaku? Who are you? Who am I? Where am I? Twitch.tv! Slash Yaku Zaku One is where I sometimes stream, but we had Dream Hack this week, so I didn't. And it's also the end of my turn break, so I might not as much uh, as well. But apart from that, uh, Twitter.com at Empora Yaku Zaku is my at exclamation mark Discord in the chat will bring you to the Cranky Ducklings Discord server where I am at, as long as well as Light, as well as everyone else. What about you, Light? Where can we find you? Uh, you can follow me at light underscore VIP on Twitch and Twitter. I do stream throughout the week, but I haven't been streaming recently because of DreamHack. All of our stream time has been here on the Cranky Ducklings. 
Um, I do plan on streaming some ladder sessions after all the Dream Act closed qualifiers finish up. So in a couple of days, in a couple of days. Um, I look forward to it. Uh, it's always whenever Dream Hack comes around and whenever we have this marathon of casting. I don't know about you, Yaku, but I like I get the urge to, to play StarCraft and ladder. Like that's why I laddered. <laughs> yeah. Between, yeah, exactly. Between yeah. Between like, yeah no. You know, I I, I just want to play again. And uh, of course, we've just been busy casting, so we haven't played StarCraft in a week. <laughs> yeah. I miss it. I miss it. Um, also, there are rumors that a new map pool is on the horizon as well, so everyone get excited about that. You know, new maps get hype. Um, yeah, Woo. definitely another thing to look forward to. Other than, of course, offline event, Valencia, you know, DreamHack. Open bracket. Nah. Open bracket, open uh, country. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. Um, meanwhile, uh, as we are finishing up here, if you want to follow more of the Cranky Ducklings, then exclamation mark socials and uh, exclamation mark socials in the chat. Uh, you can get links to all of our stuff, all of our social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. We have our YouTube channel. It is all over the place. We post whenever we go live. So make sure you follow us if you want to be here for the next broadcast, if you want to be notified, um, which will again be in eight hours. Um. Yeah. Be there or be asleep. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, if you want something at, at more of a this hour, tomorrow evening, we will have the Oceania close, close qualifiers as well as the China close qualifiers. So three more close qualifiers tomorrow. Um, be there at any time. Uh, and you, there'll be some StarCraft going on on this channel. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh Pretty boy. much. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's also ESL Open Cup Asia, but I, I think we shouldn't. I, I think we should stop ourselves from doing that. <laughs> yeah, okay, so I so I can set my alarm for uh, a little bit later. Then. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you sleep, Yaku. I'm gonna. <laughs> oh god. Unless I go chase. You won't let yourself. I... <laughs> but... Yeah, I personally I'm just worried that my voice would go out. I because. I would I would be casting all four events. And I, I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, with that, thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much, Extra. Extra gave us a, uh, a subscription earlier today, so we appreciate it. All the money that we make here on the Cranky Ducklings Twitch channel goes towards the tournaments that we run and also towards our players. We do have a pro team. We do have players um, in all the regions. Starduck made it to the closed qualifier. Vindictus in the main event. Eric's in the main event. Ryu is in the closed qualifiers. All of our boys are out there doing well. Um, Oreo is an ANZ champs, right? Um, so yeah, we're trying to support them yeah. as best we can. Especially Neo. Oh, especially Neo. You know, he's he's the most important one. He's gonna be our lawyer, mate. He's gonna. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna finally win a case <laughs> when uh, what you were called. You know, we're exactly. gonna finally not get sued. There you go, mate. We we can bring milk back. <laughs> we can. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> Uh, yes, thank you so I much. Guess it's not, we're not gonna get sued, but you know, if we do get sued, there you go. We know who to call. Exactly, exactly. Gonna get him on speed dial. Uh, but thank you so much for watching, everyone. We will see you guys tomorrow. Soon. Ciao. Bye, Bella.